One of the easiest tissues to treat in the entire neck that also will help somebody if they are having a disc episode or if they have restricted cervical flexion is the nuchal ligament. The nuchal ligament is a ligament that basically goes from the EOP on the occiput or the skull and goes down in the midline of the SPs all the way down the thoracic spine until it becomes the supraspinous ligament in the low back. And you can check to see how tight it is by going along the midline of the neck and just pushing down and seeing seeing how soft it feels or how tight it feels. Because often if there's a really bad spot, there's gonna be a spot that, pull, that feels like it's pulling way tighter than the other spots. And then you're gonna know that that spot needs to be treated. The bad news for somebody who has a nuchal ligament adhesion is it creates a nutcracker effect on the discs, enormously increasing the load or the stress on discs. And for anybody that has chronic disc episodes, they will want this treated and will often feel like once they get it treated, if they really have a bad spot, that their neck just relaxes and lets go. So this is important to treat if they have it. The good news is it's also easy to treat as long as you have a grip bar. And if you don't have a grip bar, then you can get one of these guys at gripbar.co. This is the instrument that adhesion specialists, doctors, and therapists have been using for the past 10 to 15 years that my mentor, Dr. Brady, invented that we made available for public purchase about two years ago. So gripbar.co if you want to get one. You put some lotion on the nuchal ligament and you typically start with their head in full flexion and I'm also creating a little bit of force going down. This just helps the neck relax. I usually use the point or the side of the point and then with a soft hand I'm pulling up and I'm looking for grit. It's called the grit bar because it's the best instrument at getting grit. There's a little bit down here. There's a little bit up here off to the side. There's a little bit here. It's not a lot, because if it were a lot, you would be hearing an audible sound, but I'm getting the grit, the texture of the metal tool vibrating. Now I'll also wanna bring him out of a little bit of flexion so I can get a little bit deeper because the nuchal ligament actually goes pretty deep within the tissue. And I'm actually getting better treatment right here where I was around C2, C3 on the right side of the nuchal ligament. So I'm gonna do six, seven, eight passes and then I might even take them all the way into upper cervical flexion and see if I get any grit deeper because the superficial tissue is now slackened. And I could also do this on his thoracic spine so I can go down to his CT spine and check that or I could put him into more thoracic flexion by letting him round even further and check all of his thoracic discs and seeing if I get any grit. Because if I get any grit, come on up, James. That's a good sign that that disc or that spinal segment is being overloaded. So if you want an easy tissue to treat that will unload disc problems, primarily in the cervical spine, practice with the grip bar, seeing if you feel and hear adhesion. Make sure that your hand is super soft and super relaxed. I should be able to easily take it out of your hand when you're holding this thing. With it being soft, that's how you're gonna be able to feel if the tissue is vibrating or not from the adhesion being torn out. But go ahead and try treating the nuchal ligament and make sure you comment and let us know how it goes. If you'd like to see more about how we fix chronic pain at Barefoot Rehab in New Jersey and with adhesion release methods across the world, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that we will be releasing each week.